this video, we're gonna enable the ingress type load balancer for our OpenShift cluster on VMware. Typically, this is only enabled in a cloud instance where you can launch your applications, pin them to an IP address for ingressing into it. However, you can enable it if it's on uh, VMware or uh, bare metal as well, so that you can uh, dynamically allocate IP addresses to your services. Now, you know, the networking part of it's gonna be a little out scope for this. I'm just gonna tell you how I've done this, uh, but I'm sure that uh, there are teams smarter than me that can uh, figure out how to route the networking uh, ciders into your cluster for you. Okay, so uh, real quick, uh, if we take a look at the network here that I've got uh, provisioned, I've got this Net170. Net170 is the network that uh, all of my nodes are on. So if we just take a look at its settings, we'll see under security here that I've enabled uh, promiscuous mode, MAC address changes, and forge transmits. Essentially, this is allowing me to have a, uh, a pod running on these masters sharing its NIC, but, but forging another MAC address because it's going to have a, an IP address on the same network um, and it's going to be able to route. So you're getting, you know, one port, uh, one NIC, multiple MAC addresses, multiple IP addresses uh, to that NIC. Uh, hope that makes sense. But that's that's my setting here. Uh, I will also link um, the documentation pages uh, uh, for setting up the load balancer, ingressing into your uh, into your environment for the load balancer config. Uh, in the description below. Anyway, let's go ahead and get that set. I just wanted to show you that networking part because if you're on VMware, uh, you definitely have to make sure that you uh, uh, you, you set this uh, to accept for your uh, for your network. Okay, so let's take a look at our uh, initial configuration. The first thing we need to do is we're going to edit our network config. And in here, you'll see this section here, external IP address with policy and curly braces. This has to come out. Now, there are a couple of options here. Uh, I'm only gonna set this to be uh, auto assign. So I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna put in um, uh, auto assign ciders. Now it's plural, but you can only use one in there. And then I've uh, set aside a space a small range within my uh, lab network that I'm going to use. So I'm going to put that in here, 172.16.1.48 slash 28. So just a few uh, address addresses. All right, once that's done, we'll go ahead and save that out. Now, if you wanted to uh, make this manual, uh, you can set your policy for uh, ciders uh, to accept or to allow uh, or to uh, reject certain ranges. Again, check the documentation for that. In this case, I just want it to be auto assigning uh, within this CIDR. All right, so now that that's done, uh, let's create our first namespace. So OC, uh, oops, uh, new project, if I can spell today, uh, MySQL uh, 80. Yeah, all right. So uh, my use case here is I wanna always have uh, port 3306 uh, coming in, so I'm gonna use the load balancer, it'll assign an IP address uh, to this service, and then it can load balance the pods behind the service. Um, but the idea here is that I don't have to worry about managing uh, various node ports uh, for my apps. So I can have you know three, four, five, ten MySQL servers all running on port 3306, but also assigned to a specific IP address for ingressing in. I uh, hope that makes sense. Okay, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and create our application. Uh, that we'll use for uh, for the demo. Here we'll just do uh, OC new app, and then um, uh, this is MySQL. So let's do my SQL SQL user admin MySQL password MySQL database equals MySQL 80. Mm, that looks right, all right. And then the registry.redhat.io slash, oops, dot redhat.io slash uh, RHSCL MySQL, yeah, 80, rel seven, I think, rel seven. And we launch that. Okay, that looks good, clear. All right, so what I've done here, oh, let's do this one more time, sorry, I'll see, get all. And I wanna grab this name for my deployment, right there. Okay, now, what I've done is I've just created a service script right here, and it looks like I've already got the name in there correctly. All right, so this is a load balancing 
uh, port 3306, load balancer type. So it's going to create a new service with a load balancer type, call it load balancer, and it's going to uh, load balance the deployment. All right, so let's go ahead and quit that. And then we do OC create dash F uh, load balancer. Now if that's done, clear, OC get all, we should see two services right here. We'll see that this is auto assigned an IP address 53. All right, and I've got the MySQL client installed on this Bastion host, so let's just do MySQL, uh, host there, user, admin, password, Red Hat. Bam, I'm logged into it. So that's great. So now we can actually interact with our, uh, with our uh, MySQL service using the load balancer service type directly to our IP. Now let's just show you that it's not a fluke. And we'll do uh, OC new project, uh, MySQL, to let's do 82 okay and then uh essentially we'll just run the same thing here let me go back into the script do 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 there we go all right so same thing oc get all you see a pod there it is starting up okay now again this one is a different project and we've got uh, the same port 3306 and let's just run the same uh script here so oc create dash f load balancer boom oc get all we'll see both of the services there they are now this one's on 51 copy clear that out to mysql host sql host user admin password red hat bam i'm in there okay so Hopefully that explains things for you. Uh, let me, let's just review it. All right, so I've got two OC get namespace grep MySQL. I've got two uh, projects. Each have, <coughs> pardon me, each have uh, a separate service running that's uh, connected to a external IP address in my network directly to that pod. Right, so that makes sense. OC get service uh, namespace. All right, so we've got in this namespace 80, we've got it using IP address 53, and then in this, we've got it using 51. Right. Okay, well, I will leave a copy of this little uh, test script that I did. If I can type today, I don't know what's going on with me. Clear. All right, cat. I'll keep, I'll put a copy of this, plus links to the documentation in the description below. And I hope you find this useful. It's a really quick demo, but I uh, know it's been a little while since I put something out. And this is just something that came up and I was like, wow, this, this actually works. So I want to make sure you guys knew that too. All right, thanks a lot for, uh, for checking it out. Please like, subscribe, share this video if you found it useful. Thanks so much, appreciate it, bye.